So you clicked on this video because you're feeling super frustrated. You're wanting to give up because you are doing all the things and the scale is not moving. I get it because I've been there. What's up guys, it's your girl Makita back with another video. And in this video, we are going to talk about weight loss plateaus, why your weight is stalled and what you can do to get that Get your weight to start trending down like we all do. So I'm going to share a few tips with you on how you can tweak some things in order to get the, I'm not going to say the scale moving in order to, I'm going to say in order to actually start losing fat. All right, I need you to stay around to the end of the video because the last few tips are gonna be key in getting you the results, the results that you really desire, okay? Now, let's talk about weight loss in general. We all know that weight loss has to occur in a calorie deficit. It does not matter what you're doing. Keto, low carb, intermittent fasting, all these buzzwords that fly around that we gravitate towards because we believe that it's gonna get us to results faster. All those things have tools that keep us in a calorie deficit. So let's just get that out of the way. You have to be in a calorie deficit in order to lose weight. And I'm sorry to tell you, that if your weight loss is stalling, sis, it is more than likely that you may not be truly in a calorie deficit. I know you're like, Makita, I'm doing everything, whatever. Sis, let me tell you some sneaky ways that can easily throw you out of a calorie deficit. And then I'm gonna add that last one that I bet you probably never thought about, okay? Now, I'm gonna share with you a few sneaky calories, a, a sneaky calories that sneak in and you don't even realize it because it's a small amount, but it can be lots of calories. So number one, let's talk about calorie, let's talk about uh, salad dressing. So you're thinking, I'm eating healthy, I'm eating healthy, I'm drinking coffee, okay? You're thinking, I'm eating the salad, Makita, but you are loading it up with ranch Thousand Island dressings. Do you know that one tablespoon of ranch dressing can be 90 calories? And really, how many of us truly just have one tablespoon of ranch dressing? You need to be very mindful of the dressings that you're putting on your salads. The condiments that we're using, mayonnaise, uh, ketchup, all those things can easily knock you out of a calorie deficit because they're very high in calories. Let's talk oils. Olive oil can have 190 calories for one tablespoon. And how, much of, how many of us truly just use one tablespoon of olive oil when we're cooking? None of us. These are all calories that count, sis, and they can easily knock you out of a calorie deficit. So number two, let's talk coffee creamers. If you're having your morning cup of coffee in the mornings and you're doing cream and you're doing sugar, you can add upwards to two to 300 calories just in your coffee alone. Now, number three, while we're talking about liquids, let's talk about drinking our calories. Let's talk about these perceived healthy drinks that we're drinking that have two to 300 calories in them. Let's talk our Starbucks runs or our fancy coffees. I have no shade against fancy coffees, but you need to be mindful that these coffees can have three to 500 additional calories when we're drinking them, right? Some of us say, well, Makita, I'm not eating that much. Why am I gaining so much weight? Because most of the times we are eating high calorie foods that don't provide volume. For example, I can have two slices of pizza for 700 calories, right? Pizza is not high volume. And when I say high volume, I mean uh, fills your stomach up versus 700 calories, I can have salad, grilled chicken, maybe a, some croutons. Uh, I can have that as well as maybe a side of soup. Those are high volume meals that's going to fill me up, right? Versus two slices of pizza, two slices of pizza. So a lot of times we're saying, I don't eat a lot, but you're eating high calorie foods 
that's not high volume, okay? Now, another thing that's very possible that we skip out on is the, the, the problem of just using the scale to measure your progress. That is an absolute no. In fact, the scale is just one tool you should be utilizing in order to measure your weight loss progress. In fact, you need to be using your closet. What does that mean? That means find yourself a pair of snug jeans at the beginning of your journey. And every couple of weeks or so, measure your progress with how well those jeans start to fit on you. Measure your progress with how much energy you're having. Measure your progress with how good you're feeling versus just using the scale. You can be losing fat and it not register on the scale at all. Y'all, the last four weeks, I've been waking up at 4.30 in the morning, staying in my calorie deficit, and I kid you not, the scale did not move. I weighed myself two to three times a week. The scale, in fact, it was going up. It was going up. And I was weighing myself two to three times a week. The first time in probably three weeks that it actually showed a loss was two days ago. And it showed that I had lost four pounds. And I knew that I had been losing fat because my clothes were starting to fit loose. So don't get it twisted. You could be losing fat and it not show up on the scale. That is why you should not, you should just not be using the scale to measure your, pro just the scale to measure your progress. Okay, so I hope this video was helpful to you. So let's wrap it up. In a summary, if your weight is stalled, you are not in a calorie deficit. You probably should take three days to write down every single thing you eat. Three days. If it goes in your mouth, you write it down. If you lick it, if you taste it, if you eat it, you write it down. Because that's going to give you a true a true overall picture of just how much you're eating so that you're like whoa no wonder i'm not losing weight i am knocking myself out of my calorie deficit and let's not even get into the weekends of how we do our weekend splurges but that's a whole nother video so if your weight is stalled take a true picture let's be real with ourselves of what you're actually eating write it down track it to give you an overall picture of how many calories you're really eating and make adjustments so that you're truly in a calorie deficit. Plan your meals out, plan your snacks out, and stay with what you're going to eat instead of veering off track. And if you can apply those things for at least a week or two with consistency, you will start to see progress. If this video was helpful, make sure you hit that like button and I want you to comment your aha moment in this video. That's what we do here. We learn and we grow and we move forward. So if this video was helpful, make sure you give it a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm. Share it with somebody that you share it with somebody that might find it helpful and make sure you check out my other video, Fat Loss versus weight loss so that you can stop being addicted to the scale and start looking at other ways to measure progress. I will make sure I link that video below or I link it somewhere on the screen. Make sure you check that video out and I'll see you on the next.